Extracurriculars for medical school are so important in helping the admissions committee identify which applicants possess non-cognitive skills, emotional intelligence, and the dedication required to handle the rigors of medical school and become competent, passionate physicians. These extracurriculars will also help to set you apart from all other applicants and show that you can excel outside of the classroom. So if you're looking for some guidance in selecting the best extracurriculars for medical school, you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Nadine Evans with BMO Academic Consulting. Be sure to subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you want us to help you with your medical school application, go to bmomedapplication.com to schedule your free initial consultation. One of the most important extracurriculars for medical school is clinical experience. You need to be able to answer the question, why do you want to be a doctor in your medical school applications and during your interviews, and clinical experience is a sure way to demonstrate your conviction towards medicine. It's very difficult to prove to the admissions committee that you're serious about pursuing medicine and that you've thought long and hard about it without being able to provide evidence to support your feelings. Working or volunteering in a clinical setting shows the admissions committee that you've taken the necessary steps to see what the profession will be like. Not only is this important for admission, but it's also important for you as a person. How else can you get a feel for what it will be like to be a physician without being a part of that environment? Shadowing a doctor is one of the best ways to learn about the field, understand what the day-to-day -day is like for a physician, ask questions, and connect with patients, residents, and other doctors. You'll have the opportunity to watch each moment of the day unfold and connect with different doctors in various fields of medicine. This is especially helpful if you're unsure which areas of medicine you want to pursue because shadowing a doctor will expose you to different fields to help you hone in on your interests. In addition to shadowing a doctor, other clinical experiences that can demonstrate your passion, commitment, and knowledge of the profession are useful, including working as a medical scribe or other positions in a hospital or clinic setting. Another important extracurricular for medical school is research. Adding this experience to your application is great because it shows the admissions committee that you're curious about the unknown, that you have an interest in learning new information and possess a desire for discovery. These are excellent attributes that will carry over in your medical school training. Research experience is particularly important if you want to pursue MD-PhD programs where you'll be training to become a physician scientist, requiring a strong passion for both medicine and research. If you can work in a lab as a lab assistant, it's a great way to get your foot in the door and gain exposure in the field of research. If you can participate in conducting research, that will make you an even stronger candidate. Prospective MD-PhD students will need to demonstrate extensive research experience in their AMCAS application, which will be highlighted in the required research experience essay. It's a good idea to gain hands-on experience testing hypotheses, analyzing results, preparing reports and contributing to publications as this will strengthen your application and help you determine which areas of research you may like to pursue. Another essential extracurricular for medical school is community service. Admissions committees are looking for individuals who can demonstrate their passion for serving others through acts of selflessness in the form of community service. There are many different activities that you can partake in to gain valuable experience both in your community or abroad. What's important is that you choose volunteering opportunities based on your interests. Examples of excellent community service include volunteering in hospitals, in clinics, retirement, and respite centers. If you're passionate about helping underserved or disadvantaged communities, then you could volunteer in shelters, at adoption centers, or with vulnerable youth. If you really enjoy engaging with children and are considering pediatrics, perhaps you could volunteer at a school or at a summer camp. There are no right or wrong answers when it comes to which volunteer experience to choose. As long as you're passionate and committed to the experience, it will benefit your personal and professional growth and maturity. Teaching is another important extracurricular for your medical school applications. If you've worked as a teaching assistant or tutor, you've likely developed strong communication skills, empathy for struggling students, and leadership skills, just to name a few. These same skills will carry over in your career as a physician. For example, you'll need to be able to effectively communicate with your patients in order to educate them on improving and managing their health. You have to explain treatment plans and diagnoses and be able to respectfully discuss opinions and beliefs that are not in line with your own. Compassion and empathy are also essential qualities to possess as they will be important skills to utilize during your day-to-day -day interactions with patients. Last but not least, we have hobbies, which are excellent to include in your application. 
Personal extracurricular activities outside of your pre-med activities are useful in showing the admissions committee who you are as a person, what your interests are, what motivates you, and how the lessons you learn from these experiences can apply in medical school. If you can tie your hobbies in with your pursuit of medicine, this can become a strong theme throughout your application and essays. It's not important which hobby you choose to participate in. Everyone has different passions and interests, so it's important to follow your own path. Take part in any hobbies that you're passionate about and ones that will develop and strengthen your non-cognitive skill set. So now I have three tips for selecting the best extracurriculars for medical school. Number one is to avoid the jack of all trades strategy. Medical school extracurriculars are not like Pokemon, which means no, you don't need to collect them all. The admissions committee is looking for dedication to your extracurriculars, so you should be investing a lot of time into each experience. If you've traveled abroad to volunteer with a nomadic community for a week, it's probably not a significant enough experience to include in your application. While it may have been a great experience for you, it doesn't showcase your dedication and time commitment if you only participated for one week. So it's really important to be choosy about which experiences you include and which don't need to be included. If they weren't meaningful, beneficial to your growth, and important in your pursuit of medicine, it's best to just leave it out. Participating in a variety of different extracurriculars is wonderful, but if it seems like you're just trying to tick off boxes and stack up your application, it's actually going to backfire. Don't just do a bunch of things because you think that's what the admissions committee wants to see. They actually want to see dedication and time commitment to a, a smaller set of activities. Number two is to follow your passions. So be sure that you're participating in extracurriculars that align with your interests, goals, and values. So for example, if you're interested in pediatrics, then it's a great idea to gain some experience that's relevant to that field. For example, you could work or volunteer at schools, in summer camps, daycares, at children's hospitals and adoption centers. If you're interested in emergency medicine, it's smart to gain relevant experience by working as an emergency medical technician and shadowing a doctor in the ER. Just be sure that you're not just picking random experiences, make sure you're doing things that are in line with your passions. Finally, the last tip I have for you is to demonstrate your ability to reflect on your experiences. As I mentioned earlier, one of the most important things about extracurriculars for medical school isn't just what you've done, it's your ability to reflect on the experiences that you've had. So it's not going to be enough to just create a list of the different extracurriculars that you've participated in. When you're working on your medical school applications, it's important that you always address these unanswered questions. What did you learn or gain from the experience? Why is it significant? How will this help you and your peers during medical school training? And how will this carry over in your career as a physician? Thanks for watching. This wraps up another one of our videos. Hopefully you found it helpful, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions that we can help you with. If you'd like us to help you with your medical school application, go to bemomedapplication.com to schedule your free initial consultation. Thanks again, and see you next time.